And how was Tim? You said he was a sweetheart. Oh, he's awesome. He's funny. <laughs> he's really funny. He's very simple as a director to the actors from what I saw. Like, he didn't give a lot of direction. He kind of lets you do your thing, and um, he'll tweak you a bit. But his vision is, I guess, so specific and what he does with the rest of the crew. And we don't come in until he's got it all set up. But one day, one of the ADs was talking to me, and he, he said, I don't get it. He goes, I was looking at the monitor, and it looked really good. Like, it was a really good shot and scene. And he goes, and then Tim went and talked to the crew for like two seconds. And then I look at the monitor again. He goes, it, it jumps up several levels. It was like amazing. He goes, then he talks to them again. They do take three. And then all of a sudden, you're in a Tim Burton movie. He goes, mm. I don't know what changed, but it just was like that. So whatever that was in those two clicks of Tim saying something, I guess that's Tim's magic. Uh, yeah, I mean, he really does have a magic about him. You always know you're watching a Tim Burton film or show when it's on because yeah. he has such a specific way of of creating. Yeah. I, it's, it's so cool. And it must have been really cool to see that world, like, come to life and in, in real life. Yeah, the sets were amazing. You know, I don't know. You know, Tim's such an amazing artist, um, and it, it looked like it all came out of his head. I don't know who was responsible for what, you know, set designers, Alan Miles, what they had. But each set was just, like, you walk in and you're like, oh, I'm on a Tim Burton thing. And, you know, it was pretty amazing. 